Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer! Now that I have the Spirit Sword, I can kill these balls of light for some reason. I didn't know they were spirits. Oh, yeah, by the way, you equip the light armor? These guys won't be able to hurt me anymore. So let's see if I can find out where the rest of those guys are. Come over here, balls! I just want to play with you a little. It won't hurt. For long. Ha! There you are. Get back here! You see, he can't damage me even though I'm walking right into him. Kind of like those metal monsters that we were fighting earlier. I guess I shouldn't have used the uh, elemental mail, but oh well. Is that it? No, no, I still gotta uh, kill more of these guys. Spirit balls of light. Get back here. There we go. Got it. And we can go upstairs eventually. Eh, I should have come this way first to kill those balls, but that's okay. Just walk around here and see what our treasure is. Better be something good. Not like that last one that I revealed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here's a bird to tell you the exact same thing that you already learned ten minutes ago. What do we get from this one? Another freaking bird! <laughs> I didn't even know that one was coming, viewers. I totally did not set myself up for that one. Oh well. We gotta talk to another bird. But there's one more floor with these balls, so let's get them. Let's just get back up to the first floor. Ah! Darn it. Go in the direction I tell you to go. You're a freaking tank. That can't be that hard. Where are those stairs? Is this it? No. Damn. Screw this. There we go. Where are the stairs? I'm just removing the background layer. There we go. Can't see where the hell I'm going. Uh-oh, quick man stage again. Well, this time, I come prepared. I don't have a flash stopper, but I can stop you from hurting me. Ha! Well, don't tell me I went the wrong way again. I went the wrong way again. I should have gone to the left first. I thought the monster layer was in the upper left corner. I was wrong. Hey, hey! I gained a level and I destroyed or released the monster layer. Or whatever. What do we get from this one? Ooh, we get flame pillar magic. It's kind of similar to spark bomb, except these ones stick around for a little while. Might deal more damage, depending on the situation. Let's give it a test drive. Eh. Yeah, and you see they just kind of sit there for a little while. Oh, uh, someone was asking about... Oh, I don't have an item equipped. Darn. Someone was asking about tornado. Here's what it does. I think I demonstrated it earlier, but it kind of goes in a random direction. I really don't care for that one. Okay, well now I'm going to get out of here and, uh, you know what? I could just uh, use the fairy here. Why not? Or I could go here first. There we go. Yeah, let's just use the fairy to uh, get out of this place. I don't have to edit it out after all. Okay, well let's talk to that one last bird and, uh, yeah, we can get back on our elemental mail now. We're going to need that for the basement of Madrid Castle there. Hey! Darn it. Oh yeah, sneak up behind them. Give them a heart attack. It's not like their blood pressure is, isn't high enough to begin with. Ha! Gotcha. Ha ha! Oh, alright. Hey hey! Alright, we actually get something useful from the bird for a change. How the, how the bird keeps a mirror on it, I don't know. But there you are. We've got two of the three pieces to releasing the phoenix. And now that I'm done here, I'm going to head back to Madrid Castle, and I'll meet you on the third basement level there. Maybe the red hot mirror makes me look red hot. He does look kind of good looking, I guess. Not in a Pierce Brosnan or a Christian Bale sort of way, but he looks decent, I guess. Tall, dark, and handsome. He's got the dark hair going and everything, you know. Stupid ghosts. 
I have finally found a way to defeat you. Well, anyway, we're back in the third basement level of Madrid Castle, saving some more souls and maids to take care of those souls. Got to have the maids to, uh, you know, clean up the castle. Eh, nothing over there. Let's head up here then. Huh. What's with those spikes there? I wonder. We'll be back there later. And yet, whoa! Yes, I am aware that I missed a monster lair in the second basement level. Technically, we're not supposed to know how to uh, get it yet. So I'm not going to worry about it for now. Crap. Maybe I got to move farther away. There we go. Just got to find the right place to stand. In this world, everything is location, location, location. Like choosing where you're going to sleep. Don't sleep on spikes, viewers. Although I've heard there are some countries where they actually do sleep on, like, I don't know if they sleep on spikes, but, uh, you know, needles or something like that. Like an acupuncture sort of thing. I don't know. I'm not a fan of acupuncture, I'll be honest, viewers. I got acupuncture once, and I was, like, sick for ten days. It didn't agree with me. I mean, maybe it works for some people, but for me, not wasn't so helpful. Not a fan. Not a fan. And what are these things anyway? They're like ball energy balls that like bouncing around the room. They're like those super balls, you know? Oh, uh, instant ghosts. It's like instant breakfast, except you die. Got it. Oh, and we released more Spoonie Bards. Always excellent. Absolutely. Is he going to sing a song for us to help us save the world? I've got to find a better place to stand with those guys. Oh, I don't want tornado magic. I want the power of light arrow magic. There we go. That works pretty well on them. Ow! Ow! What are those guys spitting at me anyway? Light? Or magic or something? I, I don't know. Well, we've got three monster layers to go. Let's just use light or magic to take care of these guys so they don't bounce all over the room. And I don't even have to move at all. I just stand here and... Oh, man! Just... Got that just in time before I was going to get stuck with a spear. Where's this soldier anyway? Huh. Well, we got to find a way to get in the left tower, but I don't recall seeing any left towers. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I can just alternate between killing these guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Who do we release from this monster lair? Oh, there we go. Left. Well, it's not really tall for a tower, but eh, maybe it's a two-story tower. How many stories do you need to a building to technically be called a tower anyway, instead of just a building or something or whatever? Okay, well, let's see if we can find that soldier that can uh, help us out around here. Oh, yeah, you know what? I should go this way, because it'll make a little more sense if I do that. Let's get over to that tower and rescue Dr. Leo. Oh, okay. Oh, we need to get a platinum card to get in there first, huh? I didn't know they were aware of platinum back in the day. Well, there you are. You're guarding the opera house. That's great. Huh. I wonder how we can get to it. Yeah, let's talk to this guy again. Yeah, let's just fast forward through his talking. Don't you wish you could do that when people you don't like are talking to you and they're blabbering on and on? Well, I suppose you can do that with my videos, but... <laughs> okay, I'll just steal your card. Which card is that? The Platinum card! Hooray! He must have been keeping that in his shoe. Kind of like 007, you know, he has that knife in his shoe that one time. Or the cell phone? 
Why do they have a maid taking care of the dormitory? Wouldn't they have, like, a nurse to take care of the soldiers and stuff? Eh. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, yeah, another spoony bard. Oh, okay. Well, that's how we're supposed to know to get the, the platinum card. So what awaits us in the left tower? Can we save Dr. Leo? And what will we do once we rescue him? Find out next time on Let's Play Soul Blazer. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.